This is Tanu from NetSet OS. And welcome to today's session on Python introduction. Main objective of today's session is to help you to build a good fundamental knowledge in Python. It's always essential that you have a good fundamental knowledge if you wish to master any programming language. Keeping that in mind, let's move forward and look at today's agenda. In this video, I'm going to answer these four questions. That is, what is Python? Why should we learn Python? What are the features of Python? And who uses Python? Python is interpreted scripting language. Let's look at this closely word by word. Interpreted scripting and language. Language is something that we need to communicate with each other, whether you need to communicate with animal, human being or computers. In terms of software, language is something that computer understands. It is basically a source to develop software. It is of two types, high level language and machine level language. High level language is a user understandable language. For example, Python, Java, C sharp. Machine level language is a low level language. It is a language which system understands. It is in the form of binary, which is zero or one. Programs which converts from high level to machine language or vice versa are called translators. It has two types, compiler and interpreter. Interpreter is something which executes line by line. Here only execution takes place. It is very slower in execution as compared to compiler. For example, Python scripting language like JavaScript, VBScript and many more. On the other hand comes a compiler. Compiler converts entire program from high level to machine level language or vice versa. Here compilation and execution are two phases of execution. It is somewhat faster in execution as compared to interpreter and examples are Java, C sharp and etc. If we come to Python history, Python is widely used high level programming language for general purpose programming. It was created by Guido Van Rossum and it was first released in 1991. And Python first version came at January 94. And the last version is 3.7.3, which was released in this year, March 2019. By Python, you can have lots of domain open in, like data analysis, like Panda, big data, like Hadoop, machine learning and AI, IoT, Internet of Things, game development like Pygame, web scrapping like Beautiful Soup, and in web development, you can use Sango, Flask, and many more. Now, if we come to features of Python, it is very easy to learn. It is programmer friendly language. If you talk about syntax, it's very easy. It is free and open source. Python language is freely available with no cost. It has large standard library. Python provides built-in and predefined modules. Object-oriented language because it supports OOPs, concepts of classes and objects comes into existence here. Here, cross-platform language like Python can run equally on different platforms such as Windows, Linux, Unix, etc. Therefore, it is also known as portable language too. It is an extensible language, like other languages can be used to compile here in Python code. It follows multiple paradigm. Python supports OOPs, procedure oriented, functional programming, unlike other languages. Then comes a, it is a dynamically typed. No need to define data types here, can change the data type variable anytime. If we talk about websites built on Python, there are Instagram, Mozilla, Firefox, Pinterest, NASA, even YouTube too is built on with Python, even Bright Discus and many more. And main thing, Python is a multipurpose language with beginners friendly syntax. It is a fastest growing language. It is very easy to learn and very powerful that its API are used in many fields. 
here if we talk about these codes these codes are for how to open the file in various languages in c plus plus java and python so python makes tough task easy with simple and powerful syntax in this last six years python is growing rapidly fast so here python opens lots of job opportunities and a great hike in salaries so what are you waiting for learn python with us and update your profile on linkedin if you like our video give a like to this video and subscribe to our channel